some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Kansas City, Kansas, as we find Kansas City accountability pulling the old frauditor trick of uh, filming from the sidewalk and annoying people to no end. And, uh, well, he pretty much annoys a bank and uh, ends up getting the police called him and a verbal warning issued to him. But, of course, you know how these frauditors are. They don't give a damn about trespassing or any other thing like that. They'll do what they want, even if it lands them in prison. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Looks like we got somebody out here approaching us, you guys. I'm okay, a little hungry, but I'm hanging in there. Is there something we can do to help you? Yeah, you got a bottle of water and a sucker? Now the water I can understand, because that will at least fill your stomach up and make those hunger pains go away, but... Why a sucker? You're not a damn kid anymore. I mean, you should be uh, going after the bigger p pieces of candy, ones that will fill you up instantly. Or I thought you were an adult. I mean, you may still be a child. Hell if I know. I mean, you certainly act like a child a lot of times. Uh, I can get you a bottle of water. We're just wondering what's going on. Uh, it uh, looks, like, looks like you're taking photos of our branch or something like that. Uh, no, I was taking video. I was recording. Video recording? Yeah. Yeah, I was doing an investigation. An investigation? On the bank. For? Um, say that again? For? What do you mean? Clean out your ears, fraudatard. Uh, he asked you for what reason are you uh, filming the bank? Because, you know, there's all sorts of reasons you could be uh, filming that bank according to your little investigation. You might be casing the joint. There might be other nefarious things that you're trying to do. He just wants to know why. It's called security and curiosity. That way you can eliminate the nefarious things that might happen due to what you're doing. But of course, uh, your audience probably doesn't think there's anything wrong with filming a bank. I mean, they probably don't understand that banks get targeted for uh, uh, robberies all the damn time. I mean, it's, it's a prudent thing to be concerned about. Or... I can't really say because it actually compromised the story. So if you have a business card, I can actually send it to you when, when, when it's done. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe you can help me with a question, though. What's 550 divided by 2? 550 divided by 2? Yes. 275. Okay. What's those two ladies' name at the, at the, at the window? Um, why are you asking? I'm just asking. Uh, I don't feel comfortable giving away that information at this time. So. I mean, they got name tags on. If you got a name tag, I'm sure they got name tags on. It'd be nothing just to walk in and get it. I figure you would. Walk in and get it, you could. I figure you would just be polite and give it to me, man. At this time, no. Like I said, I'll get you a bottle of water. I'll get you my business card. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, okay, Frauditor, uh, if you're going to be asking math questions, I got one for you. Uh, this one should be simple for you uh, if you know what uh, to look for. What is 5 factorial divided by 2? I'll give you a hint. It's your IQ. Yeah, you guys. So, uh, Joseph came out uh, asking for a bottle of water and a business card. And uh, when he come back, I'm going to ask him where to vote at. And is this where the workers no, park? I'm not giving you permission to take our picture. Do I have your authorization and take your picture? No, I don't give you my permission to take any pictures of me. So please take your camera off of me. I'm not taking pictures though. Don't record me. I'm recording. Do not record me. I do not give you permission to record me. But you came out to me though. I am coming out and asking you to leave. To leave what? The sidewalk? Yeah, to leave. What you're doing is making my employees uncomfortable. And that's not okay. But I spoke with Mr. Joseph. He was supposed to be bringing me a bottle of water. Did you stop him from doing that? Oh, I can't stand to see a grown man, a.k.a. this frauditor, cry about a bottle of water that can easily purchase from the convenience store that's probably behind him somewhere. I mean, just go around the corner, you'll find one. Ah, I cry like Snoopy. Ah! 
Did I stop him from doing that? No, I did not stop him. Joseph, she stopped you from bringing me a bottle of water? I changed my mind. You changed your mind? Yeah. What is it that we can help you with today? I let him know I was doing an investigation actually on the bank. What kind of investigation are you doing? Are you What's your what name? Can I help you with? What can I help you with? What's what's five fifty divided by two? Sir, what is it that I can help you with today? Five fifty to okay, for real on realistically, what is the last two lines of the national anthem? What is your point? Okay. You know, this guy is beginning to remind me of somebody. Somebody who asks irrelevant questions like this all the time. Only he uses the Third Amendment. And I believe I call him Dumbass Elmo. Uh, I wonder what I should call you. Help me out here, guys. Uh, what should we call this looney tune of a frauditor who uh, takes up uh, a trait that uh, Dumbass Elmo tends to show uh, by asking irrelevant questions? And has an IQ of 60, which is the answer to that math question that I posed earlier. I wonder what we should call him. What are you investigating? I will get you in contact with someone that can help you with whatever investigation you're doing. But you out here loitering is not okay. I'm not loitering. You're making people feel uncomfortable. I'm making them feel uncomfortable? Yeah, you are. When you're sitting out here and recording the bank. Are you, are, are you okay? You Are you okay? Do I look like I'm not okay? You look like you're not okay. I'm fine. You're coughing? You kind of seem upset? Are you? Okay. You're not the doing... The police are on their way, so... Why? Let me ask you a question, then, if you really can answer a question. Where is you guys' vault? Now, why would you be asking a question like that? Is your intention to get yourself arrested or even questioned by the police on whether or not... You are indeed casing the joint. I know you might be trolling, but, you know, that's kind of a serious question you're asking right there. One that could get you uh, looked at in a particular way as a bank robber, you know. I mean, just be careful, you dumbass. Do you have a vote? I was just curious since you came out, where's you guys' vote? Do you have a vote in there? Does the bank have a vote? Yes. Okay. And is this where the workers, the employees park at? No. Okay. They've been still sitting there all day. Okay. Why do you feel like that's in your... Why do you care where they park in, uh, in your concern? Because I would have to get their tags. That is not okay. And these is... this when I Whenever I'm doing my, uh, my, my journalism work... I really don't like this too. My intent is not to make anybody feel uncomfortable or anything. Everyone feel very uncomfortable. Well, that makes me feel uncomfortable now that you guys feel uncomfortable. It's almost like it's almost like it's almost like um like a backed up toilet. I guess a shitty job. Like somebody has to do it. Okay. What you're describing sounds a bit like a feedback loop inside of a special needs classroom, where when one student starts acting out. Uh, the others feed off of that, and uh, it becomes an endless cycle until you got a bunch of students who end up, uh, well, having a really bad day with their tantrums. But in your case, I think it's just a load of BS. I think you're just, uh, well, uh, being a pain in the ass to everybody around you, as usual. This is like... The thing is, is that you're making my team feel very uncomfortable, and if you feel uncomfortable, then if common sense would be to stop doing what you're doing. Well, how do I make them... I was asking questions you didn't want to answer. What, what was those two ladies' names right there that was at, that's at the window right there? Well, that's, you're not answering no questions. When you are out here and behaving this way, no, I'm not going to answer questions because any questions that you've asked me so far is not anything that you need to know. And how am I behaving? I'm real polite. I'm cordial. I'm answering all your questions. Okay. But you still ain't answered that question. You made him stop my bottle of water. You got COVID. You still, you got COVID. She got COVID. <laughs> man, oh man, it's just a big joke to these damn frauditors that they cause uh, havoc throughout the world and uh, they just uh, feed off of that and enjoy it, laugh about it and, uh, well, 
create misery as much as they can in order to uh, sustain their own existence so they can go to bed at night knowing that uh, they caused such harm and misery to people. And I'm not talking about just this guy. I'm talking about every single one of them. But now let's just go ahead and jump to where the cops show up, shall we? Many, many minutes later. And here we go. They got the cops out here. Look like it's Mr. Morris again. Back again. Talk to you real quick. Huh. Capital Federal called us just like the last. And I spoke. I spoke with Joseph. I know. So here's the deal: they did call us. Um, they do want you trespassing their property. So this is your verbal warning: you are trespassing Capital Federal. I never been on their property. You don't have to be on their property. So me just walking by, somebody can be like, "Hey, I want him trespassing my property." You tell him, frauditor. You tell him how you can't be trespassed from any property, no matter what. Because, you know, those trespassing laws, they don't mean anything. You'll do whatever you the hell you want. Well, trespassing laws have such little meaning to you guys that uh, you'll trespass onto some private property and commit uh, aggravated burglary and all that. We know the kinds of people that you frauditors are. Isn't that right, Sean Paul Reyes? In private property, they can trespass anybody they want for pretty much any reason they want. From public. Correct. It's privately owned business. I never step foot on their property. Be, you don't have to be on their property. Oh. Uh, I'm just letting you know if you go onto their property. Oh, uh, yeah. Because you're I, not being charged with trespassing. You're just being given a warning that you are trespassing. Yeah, I have I have no intent on going That's in fine. or cool. on their property. Okay. Uh, That's cool. I, I, only, just I stay that. because Joseph said he was bringing me a bottle of water. Okay. And the lady told me she was calling y'all. So I was like, let me just wait for him. I don't know. I told him, I asked him. About that, so. Yeah, I would have been out of here, though. Is that the, uh, I was just leaving, uh, spiel that you frauditors, uh, end up doing every time you get trespassed? Oh, uh, I was just about to leave anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, I was just leaving anyway. You don't have to arrest me. I was just leaving anyway. Uh, you don't have to bring out those cuffs. I was just leaving anyway. I swear. Yeah, I'm sure he's not going to go to that bank. He probably doesn't even use it anyway. He probably just walks by it just to uh, annoy them anyway. Which basically means it's all for nothing. He doesn't care. Yeah, he's not going to use their uh, services because he uses other banks if he has any money at all. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?